Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to some more Mass Effect 2. We are going to be continuing from where we left off last time. So yeah, before... I think you want to talk to Garrus. Okay, yeah, I, I'll go do that then. Didn't I already do Garrus's note? I didn't know it was for Mass Effect 1. I was thinking to myself, didn't I already do his loyalty mission? But yeah, that was, that was for the first game, not this one. Playing him back to back, kinda hard to keep track of everything. <laughs> uh, right, so Garrus is this way. So yeah, how are you guys doing? Um, good, I hope. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sedonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find them? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Never said I disagreed. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. All right, so we got Gareth's loyalty mission now to do. I haven't done a ton of them so far. I've been just kind of wanting to get every all the crew members first. That was Miranda's office. Um, right, I think Jack is lowered down in the engineering section. Yeah, she's down this way. But where are the other two um, officers that are usually down here? Hmm. That's Grant. Oh, here they are. Tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. You're such a dog. <laughs> so they always have like new stuff to say. So I'm gonna try to come and see them more often. I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you in ways you... you don't expect. I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go. Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater. But what else do I know? Do you think you're different now? I know that place is gone. But I still kind of want to kill every person I see. No offense. I'll take what I can get with you, Jack. You did a lot, Shepard. Shit. I'm not good at this soft stuff. Just... Thanks, okay? 
Let's let's get back to work. All right. Hey. Um. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm done talking. Come back later. Okay. I should go. Okay. Talk later. So like maybe I missed out on a few conversations, so I just kind of wanted to make up for him. I'll try talking to her and the rest of the crew um, later on, I guess. But yeah, uh, for now, let's go do a mission, shall we? Alright, so we're gonna recruit Tali. Kinda just get this out of the way. Yeah, the sooner we get this done, the sooner we can like start doing loyalty missions and everything. Cause we'll have a full crew. So um Hmm, who should I take? I'm gonna take Jack and Grunt. Uh, I still want to save up some more points, so I'm gonna leave that for now. Oh, that doesn't look fun. Oh, that sounds pretty bad. Um, so stick to the shadows then. Keep screwing my shields. So we'll fight from the shade, but no hiding. Oh, damn. So he died here. Seems like they were fighting Gaff. Emergency log entry. The Geth are here. I've stayed to buy the others time. Anyone who gets this, find Tally's aura. She and that data are all that matters. Kill us alive. Alright. Let go. Dropship! Big one! I really don't miss fighting these guys, honestly. Yeah. Ooh, these guys are tough. Damn, I love Jack. <laughs> She's just insane and so freaking powerful, dude. I'm gonna try to snipe these guys. Where's the other one? Oh. 
got a few more. I think that's it. Ooh. Here we got a path we can come down here. Ooh, a weapon. This might be useful. Come up this way. Oh, well, he's dead. I, w I was totally just making sure, you know. This is Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I passed a lot of dead quarians on the way in. You're the first survivors I've found. Okay, good. What brought you this deep into Geth controlled space? You're asking the wrong person, Shepard. I just point and shoot. Something about the sun. It's going bad faster than it should. Some kind of energy problem. Weird. Any idea where the Geth came from? One of the patrol ships found us. Drop ships started raining Geth down on our heads before we could get off world. Systems under Geth control. We knew they made planetary sweeps periodically. We hoped going low emissions would hide us. How are you holding up? We can be there in a few minutes. Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight fries your shields all to hell. We're bunkered down at base camp across the valley. I left Tally Zora at a secure shelter that double back to all the choke point. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep him off you. Hold position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait! Watch your ass! Got a drop ship coming in. Oh, they're dead. Pretty unfortunate. Alright, where am I going? This way. Oh. 
Soldier mentioned explosives. Find it, and we can blow the hell out of this rubble. I think we're going up. It's next to impossible to get accurate solar measurements. The radiation keeps burning out our equipment. This sun shouldn't be like this. It was stable a few hundred years ago. Stars don't die that quickly. Hmm. So someone's messing with it, I'm guessing. Alright, that was everything, right? Yeah. I think that's all of them.
Let's light it up. Alright. That was easy. Why do we care? Anyone choosing to come here should be on their own. All right, let me save. It's not what I was trying to do. Oh, this is one of these. Of stuff in here. Okay, so that's our ancestors walked these halls with uncovered heads. The sun must have been normal back then. So much space, walls of stone. It's amazing. I wish my friends could see it. I wish Shepard were here. Tali's order to base camp. Come in, base camp. Hello? Is anyone there? Tally, it's Shepard. remember it's dangerous but you don't seem averse to high-risk missions these days I'll discuss the mission as soon as the gunfire dies down Carl Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory from where you are it's through the door and across the field I got to the data I needed and I'm safe for now but I've got a lot of get outside what's this research you're after it's about this world's Sun it's aging faster than it should you more about it once we've got fewer geth shooting at us would it help if i brought in the normandy doubtful these buildings are centuries old if you bring down heavy fire this whole place could collapse on us is anyone else still with you or are you alone out there rieger had a team of marines covering me when i ran for the observatory at least some of them are still alive i can hear them firing at the geth outside it looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth and the console is damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please do what you can to keep Rieger alive. They've seen us. What did she say? I even hitting this thing because it kind of feels like my bullets are just like not doing shit. 
I need to push up. Don't want to get too close to him, though. trying to back up all right oh all the way back here seriously fine probably just cut this out they've seen us oh that's what she was saying drones can turn invisible It's actually pretty annoying. Gonna try to be a bit more careful. Where is the um big guy at? Oh, there he is. Hiding, seems like. Not about this cat and mouse nonsense. Hey, I thought he was dead. Jesus. Okay, he's dead now. Yeah, I might want to use a shotgun.
Oh. <laughs> Only Grunt would be happy about that. Over here, get to cover. Squad leader Cal Rieger, migrant fleet marines. We talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. I still got no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. Callie's inside over there. Jeff killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. Are you sure she's still alive? The observatory is reinforced. Even the Geth will need time to get through it. <laughs> and it's hard to hack a door when someone's firing rockets at you. The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. It huddles up and fixes itself. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, but one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. How bad is your suit damage? Combat seals clamp down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. The Geth might get me, but I'm not gonna die from an infection in the middle of a battle that's just insulting. Yeah, that would be pretty lame. Um... What can you tell me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You could wreak some havoc from there, but none of my men made it past the get. The middle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. Any ideas on how to deal with the Colossus? Standard protocol with armature class units is to sabotage the shields and whittle it down, you know? Kill it with bug bites. But the repair protocol blows that plan to hell. You try to wear it down, it just huddles up and fixes itself. So whatever we do has to scrap that bastard fast. Probably means getting up close, past that cover. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy. Maybe even drop its shield. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. This is our best shot. New victims. I got some paragon points for that. That was unfortunate. But, um, it is what it is. Um, I'll put them down.
And that's why we keep heavy weapons on us. Isn't that everyone? Still more gaff left? Actually, I hear one. Where is he, though? There you are. Just a second. I locked the door to keep more guests from getting inside. There, that should do it. All right. Just let me finish this download. Cool. No problem. Trying to look around to see if there's any more loot in here. Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. A lot of Quarians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. I have to believe that they know what's best. I didn't ask what some Admiral thought. I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. What can you tell me about your research here? Hastrum's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Hastrum's sun is far too young for this to be natural. Hmm, weird. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. <laughs> I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger! Yeah, he kept them alive. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. Tally's coming with me. I hope that's not a problem. Not as long as it's her choice. It is. Thank you, Rieger. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty Board and let them know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Talizor. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. <laughs> you don't have to like them, Tally, but we're on the same side this time. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I still might. For you, not for them. That's all I'm asking, Tally. It's good enough for I'll me. Be in engineering if you need me. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie. Sure. The ship's new artificial intelligence. Why would you do that? You guys know. You know. Their past with like AI and stuff, like, why? <laughs> uh, I hate Jacob. He's such a dickhead. Um, right. What Where am I? 
That's How do I get out of here? Logging you out, Shepard. We had done an engineering. I always have a hard time finding my way around. Of course. And Normandy is the sweetest girl there is. And Edie's a she. Tally's definitely a she. What are you getting at, Kenneth? I'm just saying I'm feeling a wee bit threatened here. A lot of female energy. And I'm just one man. You're such a dick. See? Look where your mind went. Got to watch out for myself. <laughs> Seriously, bro? I think you'll be fine. Um, let's talk to Tali and then I'm gonna talk to Jack. Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Gath on Haystrom, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Tell me about the fleet's Admiralty Board. That was good. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The Admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while, or on an unsecured channel for that matter. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? I do not trust them at all. I caught some tension back on Freedom's Progress and again when you first came aboard. What happened between Cerberus and the Quarians? They attacked one of our ships, the Edena. It seems they were attempting to kill or control a young human biotic who was on the fleet. I don't really know the details. I do know that Cerberus made an enemy of the Quarian people. Does it look like they're pulling the strings, Tally? I'm not working for them. They're working for me. So you ordered the listening devices and tracking beacons that are all over this ship. I know you need resources to fight the Collectors, but be careful, Shepard. I fully expect them to betray us at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. Wait, do you, do you have any ship upgrades? Getting a lot of Paragon points. <laughs> A bit annoying. Shepard, what can I do for you? Anything else? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? Sure. Talk to you later. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to Jack then, and I guess we can call it after that. Uh, yeah, so it's really easy to get there. Just go down this way. Hey. So tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. 
I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. You're a hard person to like, Jack. Really? I had no idea. What other amazing insights do you have that I'm too stupid to see? I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? Okay, fair enough. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got him first. Never bothered with friends after that. Hmm. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were going to kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. Hey, I'm not planning on it, so, you know, you're good. I have to go. But we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. I'm in no hurry. I want to know what makes you tick first. You don't need to know someone to sleep with them. You just have to know where to put it. I... Uh... Didn't exactly okay. mean to go Maybe down we'll that later. road, Maybe not. but I guess we'll see what happens. Like, out of the options, I think maybe Jack or Tali might be the more interesting one. Miranda kind of seems like the obvious choice. Um, right. I guess I could go talk to her as well. Uh, why not? Haven't really been speaking to Jacob too much, but I don't really plan on doing <laughs> like on talking to him. He's well, kind of annoying. Uh, let me save before I go and talk to her, just in case I mess anything up. I'd really rather Commander, not. What can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Hello. Of course. I've been meaning to so. speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. your intelligence you could have landed any job you wanted why choose this because I still envy the time Morden spent with the special tasks group working with people as smart as he was Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible they give me my resources and say do it and they've given you even more a new life a new ship the elusive man's personal attention what you disapprove no I'm just impressed. You're... Well, look at you. A kid from the slums of Earth. No family. Little formal education. And you've done more than I could. 
despite everything my father did to make me perfect. You're... you're the best humanity has to offer. Does it always have to come back to your father's genetic tailoring? This is what I am, Shepard. <laughs> I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can um, take credit for are my mistakes. It's kind of a weird way to look at it. I kind of get it, but at the same time, it's like, yes, you're technically a test tube baby, but you're still, you know, responsible for, like, all that. Like, that's like saying because you had, because you won the genetic lottery with, like, two smart parents and, like, get ancestry and stuff that, that, you know. You guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you jealous? Don't be absurd. The genetic mutt that the elusive man put in charge. That must stink. First, it's not a competition. Second, based on your combat records, you're practically a perfect bloody human specimen. Hmm. Ugh. I'm sorry. I know the mission comes first, and I'm glad we can work together. As am I, Commander. And it's most definitely not a competition. I'm proud to serve with you. I should get back to work, but thank you for coming by. Man, I was so tempted. Uh, I was so tempted. <laughs> I was so tempted, but no, we can't, we can't. Um, romancing Tali. Tali's endgame, for sure. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm gonna call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I guess you can yell at me in the comment section for like not kissing Miranda if that's what you wanted me to do. But um, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys later with some more Mass Effect. Um, bye guys.